YouTube, Johnny Bravo Tech here. I'm going to make a video, and with this video, I'm just going to run through my phone and just show you everything that I have on my phone, the way my phone's set up. It's nothing spectacular, um, but I also want to talk about a couple of things. I've had my Nexus for about, um, let's say, uh, I would say around three months, maybe a little bit longer than that. I've, I've probably had it a little bit longer than that, but I went from all the major, you know, the big phones this year, the uh, GS4, HTC One, uh, even at the LG G2 for a while, I had all the flagship phones, and I'll probably be doing that again this year, I'll just be picking them all up, I pick them up later on after the buzz is down and died, and all the other phones are starting to get rumored about, that's when I pick up the flagship phones, the reason why I do that is one, for obviously the price of them, they go way down, I usually get shit on Craigslist, and then I just uh, flip it, basically, after I'm done using it. Well, just resell it so that I can buy another phone. I haven't been making a lot of videos lately. I've just been working a lot. And um, I'm, I, have, I have a lot more, um, um, let's say, traffic coming in and out through the, 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 my Instagram and my Twitter and all that stuff. So I feel like there's a more need through here. Um, if I start picking up a little bit more traffic here on YouTube, I'll do a little bit more videos. Let me know what you think. But um, I just want to talk about my setup at the final, my end, my last uh, time that I did anything to the phone. I was just finished customizing. It was done. I had tried every ROM. I went from 30 unicorns all the way to my UI. I was doing like Pac-Man. I had Paranoid Android on here for a while. I had just a stock, just Rudy Busy Box on here. Um, there were so many that I did. Um, I actually enjoyed my UI. I know that's going to sound really stupid. I enjoyed my UI for like almost two weeks. It, um, it just ran smooth, but my only problem with it was was the connectivity for Wi-Fi and my cellular network sometimes. Um, I just, I don't, I, I don't quite get why it was doing that. Um, but as far as all the other ROMs, they were all buggy in a way, and the one that I kept coming back to, which I never really like, but it's just the most stable, would be this one. Oh. Um, I'm actually running Cyanogen Mod. Uh, this just got released, what was it, I, th I believe only like a few days ago, maybe a couple days ago, um, but... I always end up coming back to Engine Mod uh, strictly for the reason that I feel that they're just the most stable out of all the ROMs. Even though all other people that develop ROMs say that they're stable, they usually end up having some kind of bug that's going to irritate you that you wouldn't have had before. Like, you know, even on this, I was having a problem with Google Play. I don't know what it was. It was just, no, 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 it was Chrome. It just, Chrome was not working. It wasn't working at all when I first started doing it, and uh, it was just irritating. So, just, ROMs will individually have problems like that, but my my thing was that if it's something small that I can fix and that's fine, then I'll deal with it for a while. I was using Paranoid Android for about two months, but it finally just hit the tipping point for me like a couple of days ago. I ended up coming back to Side Engine Mod, that's why I wanted to make a video. So I'm running Side Engine Mod here, it's the latest build, and um, I have this here. Let's okay, I don't know. For themes, I have this theme called Fi, it's just F I. Um, that does all the uh, everything, it basically takes over the entire interface of the phone. It also, does something with the settings, it does something with the camera, I believe. Okay, nothing spectacular with the camera, but obviously you can see the navigation keys down at the bottom. Um, it switches those around. It just it switches around. It switches around a bunch of stuff that you wouldn't normally notice. And I would show you the lock screen. The lock screen has like the um, more of like a sorry, my son's going to the bathroom. Um, more of like a, what is it? Like a holo theme lock button. It's it's hollow. It's hollow. That's what it is. I, I guess it's just lines. I know I sound like I'm rambling and it sounds pretty stupid, but uh, that's what it is. And if I do the lock screen on here, it'll just shut off the recording. So I don't want to do that. 
Um, oh, and as far as the recording, this is actually, you know, a new recording app. That, that's why I'm actually doing this, just to see how it, how it work. And it's working out pretty good. Um, I literally only have a Skull Candy headphones in. And I'm using this app that I bought. Wink, wink. You can get apps, people. If you root your phones, that's illegal. You can do other illegal things. I know there's a lot of trolls out there that say it's so bad you shouldn't do that. The developers for these apps, most of them are huge companies. I'm not sure about this one, but there's a lot of a lot of companies out there that develop a bunch. Let's put it this way. Um, the Clash of Clans people, they make $384,000 a day. Okay? I have a son, and I'm renting, and I'm trying to save it for a house. So... Anyways, the app is called that I'm recording with is this SCR Pro. Um, it works really good and it does the audio, so I'm just recording the screen and I got my headphones in. That's my microphone. Sorry, I was lighting a cigarette. So one of the things I really like about this room would be the the ability now. Well, they all, always had the theming ability, but theming ability and everything to do with the interface. If you've never used Synergy Mod before, you can do everything from change your launcher, which I, I always use Google Now Launcher. I guess the tray bucket launcher can do Google Now, but it's it's not exactly as fluent. Oh. Anyways, um, you can also do the lock screen. The lock screen, you can change screen security, battery status, slider shortcuts, custom widgets, camera widget. You can see all this jazz right there. Uh, then the themes, like I already showed you, you can change all these. You can get a whole new boot animation, lock screen, wallpaper, sound packs, um, fonts. Uh, icons, just everything. It's just a customizable and it's easy. Uh, also have buttons. You can change your buttons. You can change the buttons on the outside of the phone up here or the power button over here. You can change what these do individually, these buttons on the side, not on the screen. I'm just going back and forth to show you that. Um, yeah, so it's pretty cool. Um, oh, and check this out. See that? And the only reason it's my batteries, when I started this video, it was at like 20 something percent, or I don't remember what it was. I, I think it was at 14 actually. But I've tried making like two videos before that, and they were like five minutes long, so it's killing my batteries. I was at 20% about 20 minutes ago, so this probably would have got me to a full 12 hours. Now, remember I'm sorry about that okay I'm I've had this phone for three months and I'm not the kind of guy I know I used to be but I'm it sounds really stupid but I'm always doing something I don't have the time to recharge my phone and let it charge the entire time at night yes but during the day if I'm at work and I'm a heavy use and I come home and it's dead I'll charge it halfway through and then I'll unplug it I know it sounds terrible but after installing this ROM just a couple days ago, I've got I went up back up to 12 hours. I'm almost 12 hours of battery use. That's ridiculous for a Nexus device, any Nexus device. So that's a big plus. For, so I'll probably put that in the description. Like huge battery saver. And I don't have battery doctor in here like I usually do. Um, profiles. Profiles is basically where you can set up where you're at. What you're doing, where you're at, whatever. If you want to have it so that you know your data's on or your data's not on or your Wi-Fi's on, stuff like that. Um, that's what the profiles are for. Uh, location, sign in mod accounts, um, all this stuff. Especially the performance. I haven't even tweaked with this at all. My battery's still like that. Like I haven't touched anything. It's just been smooth and just working great. Sign in mod is def the most stable ROM that I've had so um, I think that's about it uh, I really just wanted to show off uh, oh yeah go USA 
I really just want to show off this uh, new recording thing. I want to see how it works. So, yeah. Anyways, that Phi Phi theme. If you're at wondering about my uh, um, whole setup here, it's nothing fantastic, but I think it just looks, you know, minimal, flat. Uh, the icons are moonshine, which you can put those on right here in themes. You can just change the icons to whatever you want. 